Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday the 28th of November. Rescuers break through debris to reach men trapped in Uttarkashi Tunnel. Pakistan's ex-PM Imran Khan denied court-ordered public trial. And Sri Lanka selects Chinese firm to build refinery, biggest investment since crisis. And now for all the details. In a major development, the men trapped inside the Silkara Tunnel in India's Uttakashi were evacuated by rescuers on Tuesday after nearly 17 days, bringing in a sigh of relief to their kin. A report. In a major development, rescuers on Tuesday finally evacuated men trapped inside the Silkiara Tunnel in India's Uttarkashi for nearly 17 days, giving a sigh of relief to their kin. The men were immediately rushed to the hospitals in ambulances after receiving medical help at the site. The drilling operations at the site had been completed by evening and a pipe was put through to reach them. The tunnel is part of the $1.5 billion Chardham Highway, one of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's most ambitious projects, aimed at connecting four Hindu pilgrimage sites through an 890-kilometer network of roads. Authorities have not said what caused the cave-in, but the region is prone to landslides, earthquakes and floods. Amid the India-Canada diplomatic row, the Indian High Commissioner in Canada, Sanjeev Kumar Verma, has said that New Delhi is only asking for relevant evidence in the killing of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar so that it can help Ottawa in reaching the conclusion of the investigation. In an interview with Canada's TAC TV, Kumar said both the countries should focus on convergence as India is still open for business relations. The ties between both the countries deteriorated after Canadian PM Justin Trudeau made allegations of Indian involvement in Niger's killing on Canadian soil. India has rejected the allegations, calling them absurd, and also expelled a Canadian diplomat in a tit-for-tat move after Ottawa asked a senior Indian diplomat to leave. And Pakistan's former PM and PTI party chief Imran Khan has denied an open court trial as ordered by a high court after the government submitted reports citing threats to his life, his lawyer said. The special court hearing the case that said Khan's trial on the charge of leaking state secrets will be held in jail premises but will be open to media and the public. The trial will begin afresh on Friday, the court said, adding that it has been conducting the trial in prison since Khan was indicted on the charges last month. 71-year-old Khan has been embroiled in a tangle of political and legal battles since he was ousted as Prime Minister last April and has not been seen in public since August when he was jailed for three years and barred from politics for five years. Moving on. Scores of locals and activists held a massive gathering in Gilgit, Baltistan recently to demand shared in taxes that the Pakistan government collects from the region. A report. Activists of the Awami Action Committee, traders and locals of Gilgit, Baltistan recently held a massive protest gathering to demand proper share in taxes that the Pakistan government collects from the region. Ever since the illegal occupation, people of the region have never been granted the rights they deserve and have been deprived of any growth and development. जो पैसे आते हैं वो भी फेडरल गवर्नमेंट उठाती है उसके अलावा यहां पे एक एनएचए का टूल प्लाजा लगा है उस पे भी करोड़ों रुपए सालाना इनकम जो है वो फेडरल गवर्नमेंट उठाती है हम कहते हैं कि हमारा हिस्सा दे दे जो हमारे लीगल राइट्स है लीगल हमारे जो जगह है वहां से हमें हिस्सा चाहिए द गैदरिंग आल्सो डिस्कस्ड इश्यूज सच एज लोड शेडिंग पुअर एजुकेशन एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट दे आल्सो फ्लैग्ड कंसर्न ओवर कट इन सब्सिडीज एंड सीवियर वीट क्राइसिस वार्निंग मैसिव प्रोटेस्ट हमने ये किया कि अब जी भी जो है हमारे तमाम इजलाम में आवाम निकलेगी और वो जलसे करेगी 
اس کے بعد حکومت کو ایک ٹائم ملے گا اگر حکومت اس پہ بھی عمل نہیں کر رہی ہے تو اس کے بعد زیادہ ہوں گے ہر وہ اس میں ستائی محلے ستہ پہ جو ہے نا جلسے جلوس ہوں گے Sri Lanka on Monday approved a proposal by China Sinopec to build a $4.5 billion refinery in Hambantota, making it the largest single investment in the island nation since a crippling economic crisis last year. The Sri Lankan investment follows state-run China merchant port holdings, 99-year lease at Hambantota port and a $392 million deal to build a logistics and storage hub in Colombo port area. China is the biggest bilateral lender of Sri Lanka, which is trying to recover from its worst economic crisis in more than 70 years and is hungry for new investment and local fuel supplies. Moving on, Bangladesh Foreign Minister A.K. Abdul Momin has refuted claims of differences with the U.S. and said both countries believe in democracy and want free and fair elections in Bangladesh. The U.S. has never gone against us, Momin was quoted as seen by the local media outlet, the Dhaka Tribune. Highlighting new visa policy by the U.S., barring the entry of Bangladeshi nationals who undermine elections, Momin said he will suggest Washington to implement the policy against those who are trying to foil the polls, a veiled reference to opposition BNP. The opposition party, whose leaders are either in exile or jailed by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina government, have said they will boycott the election unless the polls are held under a caretaker government. Prime Minister Hasina has repeatedly rebuffed the opposition calls. Devotees from around the world congregated in India's holy Varanasi city on Monday night to celebrate the Hindu festival of Dev Dipavali. The festival is celebrated on the occasion of Kartik Purnima, the full moon day in month of Kartik, as a tribute to the River Ganga. The steps of the banks of River Ganga sparkled with thousands of earthen lamps lit to honour the sacred river, which is considered a deity in Hinduism. I believe it's the first time in my life I see, I always listen about this, but to see this is really unique, unique, wonderful. Apart from the earthen lamps, light and sound shows and green fireworks added to the glitter of the festival. The daily prayers at the banks of the river are already a major tourist attraction. Dev Dipavali also marks the end of the fortnight of Diwali celebrations. Dev Dipavali, we have seen it for many years, but this time Dev Dipavali was very good. And there were 70 countries here. And there were 70 countries here. बहुत ही भव्य ढंग से पूरे घाटों को सजाया गया है और इस पार से उस पार जो गंगा रेती पर दिया जलाए गए हैं ग्यारह लाख वो जबरदस्त यहाँ का सीन था ब्रिंग्स यू डेली न्यूज बुलेटिन फ्रॉम इंडिया ब्रेकिंग न्यूज एंड व्यूज फ्रॉम इंडिया 